I'm Melissa Dawson. I work at Manco Wildlife Reserve as volunteer coordinator. The reserve is of 5,000 hectares. And we have over 50 species of mammals. We have over 350 species of birds and a large density of uh, reptiles and amphibians as well. I've only flown a couple of drones in my life, um, so I'm not massively experienced as a drone pilot, but I do feel very confident when I fly your drones. They make it very easy, very safe. Um, a lot of the functions on there make me very excited to fly it more. In the, this field, we have a lot of gravelly and sandy bases, so the hand launch function for us is revolutionary. Thermal cameras we currently use on the reserve, having something aerial um, that has a thermal image would be really useful for us. It allows us to potentially find poachers in thickets um, so we can maybe move our ground team in a lot quicker. In terms of the research side of things and management of the animals, a thermal camera allows us to monitor primarily our larger animals, so our giraffe and our buffalo. Those species are, can often become injured or get lost, so they're understanding their nocturnal movements is something that hasn't really been studied in um, the ecological world that much. The drone has become essential in certain elements because we have it. So we've adapted ourselves to fit. If we didn't have it, we'd manage, but we'd use a lot more fuel, a lot more time, um, and we'd also have to use a lot more on-foot patrols at night in the bush, which can create issues for us uh, as a group. I genuinely had fun flying the drones, um, rather than it being work, which is a really nice element. Obviously, we're getting a good job done, but it's enjoyable to do as well.